Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to take a look at the Catch All Mousetrap, which was advertised as the world's best automatic mousetrap. That's a pretty bold claim, but there's several arguments for why that might be true. First of all, it can catch a lot of mice. It says no bait needed, can catch up to 15 mice in one setting. That's a huge number of mice, and if that's true, that makes it a really good trap. Also, it's withstood the test of time. This was first patented by Austin Ness of Audubon, Indiana in 1930. So it's been on the market for 87 years and it's still being sold today. Any mousetrap that's on the market for that long has to be a good design. Also, it's been copied by almost every mousetrap manufacturer. Here's one from Victor and here's one from Mouse Master. It's pretty much the exact same design. They just copied it and put their logo on it. And also, this one, the copies are made in China. It says right there, Victor made these in China. What I like so much about this is right here, it says it's made in the USA. It seems to be made of really high quality material. And I can't wait to test this out. Here's an older model. You can see the paddles and trigger mechanism in there are all metal. And then as it gets to more modern design, still very vintage. It has a plastic catch right there. Still the metal right there. Now here's what it's going to look like if you buy it now on today's market. I bought this on Amazon and you can get it in a solid lid. I got this in the clear lid and this slides off and you can see the metal and plastic in there too. So let's take a look at how this works and then we'll go test this out with real mice. Here's what our modern catch-all mousetrap looks like. I chose the clear lid so you can see inside when you catch mice. Also it'll help with filming to show what's going on. And that just slides off the top here like that. And I think you can even take it all the way off if you give it a good pull. So we'll put that to the side for now so we can see what's going on. To release mice, you also have a door that opens and closes in here. I'll take that off as well so we can see the mechanisms. And what we have is these paddles. Now these paddles are spring-loaded and if you twist it, this knob on the side, you don't want to over twist this and you can get these too tight and probably break the springs. But there's a mechanism right in there and the paddles are right there. The mouse will enter right through here and there's a little pad. When it steps on it with its body weight, these paddles will turn and it, almost like a revolving door will go like that. See that coming in and it moves them into this chamber. This is the catch chamber where we have them. So this can be packed full of mice and it just keeps revolving. I'm going to push that pad a little more because it's spring loaded. Just to show you what happens and there it's ushered in. Any mice who walks through that tunnel and steps on that pad will get pushed into the chamber and we got them and you can just keep doing that until you run out of mice or until the spring here runs out of tension. Again, don't over tighten that, but it's good for quite a few catches there. Looks like it now needs to be wound again to work. So we'll just twist that, give it some good turns and it's ready to catch. Mice go in and step on that. Bam. Pretty easy, pretty neat design. I can't wait to see if we can catch mice with this thing. So as you can see this trap works really well as soon as they go in there they step on that pad and the paddle uh, flings them pretty much into this back chamber and if you want to release them you can take them outside here like that lift up the door and let them go now before i let them go uh, i want to give a word of caution sometimes with these live animal traps when you condense a bunch of animals in a small space i've seen them kill and eat each other they turn into cannibals these two seem to get along really well so i'm going to lift up the door and let them go and uh, they should just run out there. Come on little guy, you can get out there. There you go. Here's an attachment you can purchase with this trap to deal with the problem of having live mice. This will kill any mice that you catch. It's called the catch-all drowning attachment. The way it works is the lid slides back here and this piece of metal clips into place to serve as a new lid. There's a hole here with a tunnel and a slinky. That slinky is like a toy we used to play with as kids that go down the stairs. On the other end, it's connected to a lid and a ring that fits on a standard small mouth jar. This attachment clips into place just like that. And that way the mice can climb up, come through, and then you just get a jar with some water in it. You screw that onto place and now you're ready to catch mice. They'll go in, get caught, 
go climb up through the slinky and drop into the water. So I'll show you how this attachment works with real mice, but I'm not going to show you a mouse drowning or even swimming. I'm going to dump out the water, replace it with a nice soft material that they can land into, and that way it's completely humane. I have used this in the barn, and when I checked it in the morning, the water was completely full of dead mice, but for now you'll have to use your imagination. Let's go see how the mice goes through the slinky and drops into the jar. Well, I'm a really big fan of this attachment here to deal with the problem of having live mice. You know, I'm definitely not killing this mouse. It was just for demonstration purposes. But if you filled that with water, they'd want to get out of the trap, come through the slinky, drop into the water, and drown. And then you don't have to worry about them fighting or eating each other. And you just have to open that up and dump out the water with the mice in it. Easy disposal. So this little guy has a nice little nest in the bottom here. My final thoughts on the catch-all multi-catch mouse trap is that it worked really well for me. All you have to do is twist this knob on the side and then the mice seem to really like to go through that tunnel. You don't need bait and you can catch a lot of mice. As soon as the mice went in there and stepped on that pad, those paddles just fling them into that back chamber. And this serves as a live animal trap. You can take it outside and release them or you can get the drowning attachment and it will kill them for you. All you have to do is dump out the jar with water, refill it. It worked really well for me and I highly recommend it. I can see why it's been around for so long and copied by so many mousetrap manufacturers. But in my opinion, the best one is the original, the catch-all multi-catch mousetrap.